performing arts school here at Lincoln is, uh, well, it's many things. Learning at Lincoln is exciting and dynamic. They're bringing home grades right now that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about. Every child gets 60 minutes of arts a day. They receive instrumental music, ORP instruments, they receive vocal music, uh, they come in here to the piano lab, they take piano once a week as a class, uh, they have dance, uh, they learn the various types of dance, and uh, they have drama. In kindergarten, we love to move around anyway as it is, and we love to do songs, but with the drama, the dance, and both the music, uh, the instruments, and the um, vocals, the students get to learn a lot of the different aspects of art. And we work together on how we're going to incorporate music into math, dance into science, uh, literacy into drama. Piano is going to do so much with brain development. They've done studies and research. It also, I think there's a great connection between music and mathematics. You know, you're talking about rhythm and you're breaking rhythm up into whole note, into quarter, into eighth notes. That's fractions right there. You don't even have to think about integrating that. It just comes naturally. You have students that are on so many different ends of the spectrum, of the learning spectrum, and arts helps them be able to use a different outlet to try to learn the information that they need to learn in order to progress throughout school. If we can get up and, you know, read something about the American Revolution and do it as, as a play and talk about setting and character and all the theater elements, the kids are going to be so much more engaged. They're still going to get the content, but they're going to have fun and they're going to remember it. My favorite thing about school is the arts here because it's so much fun and you get to engage with the arts. You can do tap, jazz, all that stuff. And like you'll get really used to it. And like when you get to do it on TV, you'll get nervous a little bit, but then like when you see you in the camera, you won't get nervous at all anymore. I just love when they clap. Like when I was doing salsa then, I put a little pep in my step when I was going like that, and everybody just started clapping. It makes me feel great because like you're laughing and doing all this stuff. It helps you a whole bunch after you get back from the arts classes. It just be, it just has your mind just hyped like you're just ready to learn that new thing. We were very impressed with the kind of program that they had, uh, what the opportunities were that were available. This school is in our cluster and the reason why we chose it uh, is because of the, the academics um, are there and, that, and that's certainly something that we put an emphasis on in my household. It's just this sense of community that we saw uh, when we were here pretty much sealed the deal for us and uh, ever since then we have seen that sense of community. They've been welcomed in even though it's not their resides in school that you know they're coming in as part of the magnet program. You should send your, your kid to, to Lincoln because uh, the, the teachers are passionate about uh, teaching the subject matter and in addition to that they also have the ability to learn the arts from uh, people that were, are professionals uh, in their respective uh, subject matter. And so, you know, for that reason, I think, uh, why not learn from the best? I want a student um, who, who knows his reading, his writing, his math, his science, his social studies, but I also want a student who's passionate about what he or she does. I hope when they leave us that it's somebody who has a great foundation, not only in your academics and your core content, but in the arts. I want to be able to have kids leave here knowing that the arts are a wonderful thing and that they need to support the arts later on as well.